hello welcome back to my channel i know i know yes i know it's been a very long time i uploaded any video on this channel and i really do apologize for that and i am going to make up for all those lost time and by doing so i am going to teach you step by step how i made this single grained Ghana jollof rice all right and please if today is your first time watching my video this is Cuisine du Monde, the only channel where we excite your taste bad. And also, subscribe, like, comment, share your thoughts in the comment section, and I'll be glad to respond to each comment, all right? And also share. That is the most important thing to me. Share any of our videos to your friends and families out there. Let them also learn one or two recipes from this channel, okay? All right, so let's get right into it. So... I'm going to start by roasting my vegetables that I'll be using for my base. So I'm going to roast my green. I added in my green, um, red and orange bell peppers. I added in some tomatoes, also some pepper and some onions. I'm also going to go ahead and sprinkle in some adobo. And also drizzle in some um, oil just so that um, it doesn't come out too dry after roasting and if you don't have I'm going to use an air fryer if you don't have an air fryer you can go ahead and use your oven if you don't have any of these two you can also fry them on your stove with the oil and that will also come out so nice this brings a lot of flavor to your jollof all right it smells so good the aroma is just on a different level all right so at this point my uh, <coughs> my vegetables are well roasted to the point that i want i'm going to go ahead and put them into my blender and blend them to a consistency of my choice all right So while my vegetables are blended, I'm going to start with my jollof base. In my pan right here, I'm going to add in my oil, some um, bay leaves. I have the fresh ones, so I'm going to use the fresh ones. And also add in my chopped onions. I'm going to fry these so I could perceive the aroma. Just when it does, I'm going to go ahead and add my tomato paste. And not forgetting to rinse my um, tomato paste can, alright? <laughs> <laughs> That's very important. We need everything from the can into this too. It all adds up to the to the um to the volume and also the taste. <laughs> all right. So at this point, I am going to mix them till everything is well mixed and allow it to fry to take away the sourness from the tomato paste. We don't want our jollof to taste um sour at the end. All right. So we are going to fry it till it is well fried. <laughs> Alright, so at this point it is well fried and I'm going to go ahead and add in my blended vegetables. And after adding in the blended vegetables, I'm going to mix everything till everything is well mixed and well incorporated. And then I'll allow it to simmer for about 30 minutes. Cover it and allow it to simmer for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of allowing it to simmer, all the taste and flavors are now married together. And I can go ahead to taste to know the right amount of salt and also the right amount of vegetable stock to add to um, my stew all right so i'm adding in my um this is me adding in my vegetable stock cube and also some salt to taste i'll then mix till everything is well incorporated everything is also well balanced and cover it and allow it to simmer for the last time
so at this point our stew is ready our jello base is ready okay so i deliberately prepared more stew so that the next time i want to prepare jello it will be easy for me to do so so i'm going to go ahead and scoop out almost half of the stew right now and um, freeze them so just when i want to prepare jello the next time all i have to do is just pour my stew into my pan and add in my rice and i'm good to go it is all about the soft life in the kitchen okay so after scooping almost half of the stew i'm going to go ahead and add in my rice if you prefer to wash your rice please do all right is i prefer not to wash my rice it's not that it brings any difference to the taste or to the texture of the chalof but i just don't like washing it but if you prefer please go ahead and wash your rice okay After adding the rice and stirring, I realized that the stew was more than the rice, so I went ahead and added in more. I'm going to mix so all the white rice is, has disappeared. It's all covered with the stew, and I'm going to cover it and allow it to fry for about 5 minutes, and then we'll continue from there. After five minutes, I'm going to mix and um, also turn so that the rice on top will also go down below <laughs> to also fry. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I'm just going to mix it so that the other parts that were not able to fry will also fry. And then lastly, we'll go ahead with our water. Okay. And just when it is well fried, I'm going to go ahead and add the can you, did you hear the sizzle? Oh, oh my god. So just when um, it's all fried, I'm going to go ahead and add in my hot water. And adding the hot water makes it cook faster. That's it. Alright, there's nothing to it. But it's really advisable to add in hot water instead of cold water. So this is the part where you determine the fate of your jollof. Whether you want the single grain type of jollof or you want the mushy kind of jollof. I believe that the um, steam is what cooks the jollof. So um, I love to lock the steam with my parchment paper or my um, aluminium foil. And at this point I tested and I realized that it needed more um, salt and also uh, vegetable stock cube so I added and mixed it and covered it with my parchment paper I don't believe that when you cover it with the um, your napkin I know people do some people do cover it with napkins it's going to lock the steam enough so I would suggest you use a parchment paper or an aluminium foil okay After 25 minutes, allowing it to cook, this is how it turned out. I'm going to turn to make sure that those under comes on top and those on top goes down so that, um, just to make sure that the jollof evenly cooks. All right, and just after doing that, I'm going to cover it for the last time and this time I'm going to leave it for about 30 to 35 minutes and our jollof is ready, guys. Any other way you cook your jollof is not gonna jollof her back. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real deal this is the real Ghana jollof all right see how single grained it turned out and the taste and the flavor oh my god you should try this method and just let me know share share it in the comment section all right and guys if you have watched to this part and you haven't subscribed please do and please comment share your thoughts in the comment section and also share share this video or any of our videos on this channel to your friends and loved ones let them also learn one or two recipes from this channel okay and there is this chicken you see this chicken um that will be our next video so please stick and stay all right and always remember in a world where you can be anything be kind
bye